Hey, Propel Jr., good morning. We're getting ready to start our brand new series this week, and we're so excited that you can be here for confetti time. This is going to be about how Jesus lived his life and how if we believe in Jesus, we can live a life just like him, holy and pleasing to God. Hey, guys, we're so glad you joined us right here today. a fun day playing with my toys outside, except they got dirty, so I'm washing them. See, I have soap and water, sponge, and a towel. First, I take my sponge, dip it in the water, scrub, scrub, scrub. I love how it makes bubbles. After I wash the toy, I rinse it with clean water. dry it with a towel. I just love fluffy towels. And now my toy is clean and dry. Ooh. Ooh. It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Washing toys, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm washing the toys that got dirt on them when we were playing outside. Great job. Who? Who? 
I know something else you can do. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hello, friends. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. <gasps> wow! We're celebrating because we can love like Jesus, and I made some special cupcakes. Do you want to see them? Ta-da! <laughs> They're my confetti creations. They have confetti sprinkles on the top, and there's a surprise too. When you bite into them, a whole bunch of confetti sprinkles fall out. It's the perfect party cupcake. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> what happens when you throw confetti in the air? Where does it go? Does it land in just one spot or does it go everywhere? Yes, it goes everywhere. And Jesus loves people just like that. Jesus' love goes everywhere. In our story today, Jesus shows us how to love like him. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about the one most special, most powerful, most important thing Jesus told us to do. Well, Jesus didn't just tell us what to do, Jesus showed us what to do. One night, Jesus was having dinner with his friends. Then Jesus got up from where he was eating and wrapped a towel around his waist. Jesus poured some water in a bowl. He took the water, knelt down in front of his friends, and began washing their feet. Wait, did you hear that? Jesus washed his friends' feet. Their feet probably had a lot of dirt on them from walking around outside. This was a messy job. Jesus is God's son and is so special and important. His friends were surprised that someone so important would do that messy job. But... Jesus washed his friend's feet. Then he took the towel that was wrapped around him and dried their feet. When Jesus got to Peter, Peter said, No, Jesus, don't wash my feet. Peter knew Jesus was so special and so important that he thought Jesus should never do a job like washing dirty feet. But Jesus said, if Peter was going to follow him, he would have to let Jesus wash his feet. So then Peter really wanted Jesus to wash his feet because Peter wanted to follow Jesus. After Jesus was done, Jesus told his friends that he washed their feet to show them how to love people the way he loves people. And loving like Jesus is the one most special, most powerful, most important thing Jesus told us to do. So what are some ways we can love like Jesus? There are so many ways. We can clap and cheer for others. We can let someone else go first. We can help someone clean up, even if we didn't make the mess. There are so many ways that we can love like Jesus, and that is the one most important thing we can do. <laughs> did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me. Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus showed us how to love so that we can love like Jesus, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Jesus washed his friend's feet to show them how to love people. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I know how I can love like Jesus. I can help my sister clean her room. When I love like Jesus, it's like I'm spreading love everywhere. See you next time. Bye. Oh. 
a friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17.